What if we worked a four-day week? In France, the idea is gaining ground. Some business owners have already made the switch. We get more done and we're less tired in a four-day week than in a five-day week. Company attractiveness, employee well-being, the formula seems to be working. All I want to do is stay. Thanks, boss. A new working week, but under what conditions and in which sectors? If it works in catering, I think it would work in a lot of other sectors. Spending time with his daughter during the week is something Aurelien can do now. Since his company switched to a four-day working week, he's completely reorganized his schedule. He's off work from Friday to Sunday, or on Wednesdays, Thursdays and Sundays. We really like it. It's really important for parents and children, if you have them, to spend time with them. Now I can do that. More time with his daughter and less money spent on childcare. We save between 250 and 300 euros a month. That's a lot. And because we have more money left over at the end of the month, we can go on more outings and invest more. So that's another advantage. This is where Aurelien works. LDLC, based in the suburbs of Lyon, sells computer supplies. The company employs more than 1,000 people. Workwear is casual. The CEO swapped his suit for jeans and a T-shirt long ago. This table is like my office. It doesn't have my name on it, but it should, because I'm always here. He decided to have his employees work four days a week instead of five. 32 hours paid 35. It was in January 2021, and he has no regrets. Among the criticisms I've had is this, you're running a charity now. No, in its sector, this company is one of the most profitable. Before COVID, we were making 500 million euros in profit with 1,050 employees. We switched to a 32-hour, four-day week. We've increased profits to 700 million euros. That's a 40% rise, and we still have 1,050 employees. Sick leave has halved. Workplace accidents have halved. Staff turnover is a quarter of what it was. We've actually made money. This sounds like a contradiction, but we get more work done and are less tired in four days working 32 hours than in five days working 35 hours. Super LDL, c'est Aurélien, bonjour. Switching to four eight-hour days a week, Aurelien clearly remembers when his boss announced the good news. The company is open from Monday to Saturday, so it seemed like a crazy idea to him. I said to myself, he's completely mad, because I thought in our service it would take time to recruit and train new employees to put it in place. I saw my workload getting bigger, but in the end, that didn't happen. There is one disadvantage, little movement within or in and out of the company, because employees never want to leave. Leaving the company and going back to a 35-hour week over five days? No, I don't want to do that. The only thing I want to do is stay. I won't sing the song, but... Pool, arcade games, bowling, at LDLC, employee well-being is a priority, says the CEO. He's even written a book about the four-day week. He couldn't keep up with all the requests he was getting to comment on it. Un jour, Dieu vous 
Moi, personally, I work three days a week because all that part of it, social networks and conferences, that takes me two days a week. So I work three days a week for LDLC and I take two days off to talk about the four-day week. In Amiens, the local branch of URSAF, the agency that deals with social security payments, has also started offering employees a four-day week. Christoph, Cassandre, the company Mozu is asking us for information. They'd like to write a book about the four-day work week. It feels like a whole community has been created around the four-day work week. We're often asked about it, both by public and private companies. The experiment began in January this year, but out of the 200 employees, only three opted for the four-day week. Why? because their hours were not reduced. Here, they don't get to work 32 hours a week. They have to fit 36 hours into four days. The four-day week means a minimum of nine hours a day, which adds up to nine and a half or 10 when you include lunch. For me, it wouldn't have worked with my childcare for my son. The days would have been too long for us. Even if only three employees have opted for the four-day week, the director says the experiment is important. Imagine if all private companies in France switched to a four-day work week. How could we explain why public service agencies like ours are sticking to the old-fashioned ways of working? We wouldn't have any employees left or people willing to take the test to become civil servants. Staying attractive is a challenge for companies because the relationship the French have with work has changed in the last 15 years. Today, two out of three French people prioritize free time over how much they earn. Reducing working hours is like creating a space where you can take your head out of the ground, break away from the rhythm of capitalism, the idea of working more to produce and consume more. A breath of fresh air from the rhythm is worth taking. Talk about the four-day working week and reducing working hours has come in a context where the balance of power has shifted in favour of workers. Companies are struggling to recruit, so that means workers can negotiate their working conditions. And that hasn't happened since the 1970s. Catering is one of the sectors worst hit by a lack of staff. Unsociable hours, long working days, the industry is struggling to recruit. But at this Michelin-starred restaurant near Lille, the man in charge has no trouble finding staff. Generally, when you work in a restaurant, your team becomes your family because you don't see your family. We do things differently. The 39-year-old chef, a finalist in the TV show Top Chef 10 years ago, brought in a four-day week in 2020, just after the first lockdown. A Danish friend, specialized in workplace well-being, convinced him. Today, he runs eight establishments and employs 90 people. I just want to show that it's possible to make these restaurants work, to have a business model, even when it's based on environmentally friendly values, because our dishes are 100% locally sourced, and even when it's based on social and human values, because we work four days a week. Still, you need a business that makes money and is economically viable. Oran, a wine taster, has been working at the restaurant for 10 years. She's expecting her first child. The four-day week is a big relief for her. Finding childcare when you work in a restaurant means finding someone flexible. And when both parents work in a business, one will end up making sacrifices. It will require organization, but it will be a lot easier for us because of a four-day week. They work 40 hours a week, a lot less than before their boss brought in the four-day week. But there's one condition. He expects them to be at 110% when they're here. 
Je suis pas le sauveur de l'humanité, je suis pas Geronimo. I'm not saving mankind. I'm not Geronimo. I'm just a business owner who wants to make his business profitable with happy people. Because happy people are more productive. They stay around. They get sick less often. And happy people sell better. So it's win-win. In the end, we're here to work and no one should forget that. Enfin, voilà, on est là pour bosser, faut quand même pas l'oublier. Hard work and well-being don't have to be incompatible. Here, Nicolas Sarkozy's famous slogan from 2007, work more to earn more, feels like it's from another era. 